Hi, Virgo. You have magical blessings. Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. Okay, so blessings are here for you, Virgo. Okay. All right, so you have death, two of cups, and the three of cups. So you have Scorpio here, Pisces, and Cancer. So someone is dealing with a water sign or they have water placements, or this is you, Virgo, you have water placements. Okay, so there's going to be a change, a change in a relationship or just change. There's something about celebrating with the um, Three of Cups and Magical uh, Blessings. Yeah, you're celebrating something or you will be celebrating something, some kind of blessing here. This looks like a seance. Or something like that. Someone's relationship status is getting ready to change. What is the death card? Or something is changing. Right, the Eight of Swords and the Fool. Okay. Yeah, you're going to go for it or you're going to take a risk regarding love. Okay. Yeah, you're getting ready to be in a relationship. Your relationship status is changing. Or you're getting ready to take a risk. And I feel like whatever risk this is, it's worth it. Okay. Yeah, two of cups, ace of pentacles. A relationship offer. This is an offer of love. Okay. What is the Two of Cups? Yeah, the High Priestess. So you know this. You're aware of this. You're aware that someone wants a relationship with you. Yeah. It's a Cancer or a Pisces. That wants a relationship with you. But this person, yeah, this person needs to end a third party situation or they need to end a third party or something about this person being unhealed. Okay. 
they definitely want to be with you. But they need to heal or someone has to heal from something first. All right, what is the moon? All right, the Ace of Wands. Yeah, this new beginning. It's like someone is trying to hide. This person is trying to hide that they either want this new beginning or I don't know. It's like it's not that they're necessarily trying to hide this new beginning that they want with you. They're trying to hide something or they have a lot of secrets. I feel like deep down inside, you know exactly what these secrets are or you know exactly what they're trying to hide because you're highly intuitive. You are, you are the, um, the high priestess. They could be trying to hide a third party. Yeah, you have the three of cups, the three of wands here. And I saw the three of pentacles. And I also saw the three of swords. So three, three, three. I'm also picking up hidden ambition, hidden motivation, or the strength within. You have a lot of strength, Virgo. You have a lot of courage, a lot of bravery, but it's held within or you're not loud about it. You're very humble. Someone may feel like you're not humble, but you are. Yeah, you're definitely humble, okay? But you're very strong mentally and physically, okay? also going to take a risk and get a dog a pet now someone could be allergic to pets or not pets but a, but dogs or um a certain kind of dog okay i'm picking up a bulldog or maybe you already have this pet or something like that I feel like as you're walking, maybe you're walking, you're deciding to take a walk or something like that. You're going to notice a pet or like a, a dog or a cat or something like that. And you're going to decide to take, you're going to decide to take this pet. Not this pet. I'm sorry. I don't know why I keep saying that. So this is going to be your pet, but this is like a dog or a cat that you found Maybe wandering the streets. They had no home. And so you decided to take in this cat or this dog. Okay. All right. So you had three of cups. You're celebrating something. The star. Three of Cups and the Star. Okay. Eight of Wands. Something is coming towards you quickly. Attention. Recognition. Rewards. Yeah, your relationships are changing. But I feel like they're changing for the better. Okay. You're in the spotlight. You're well known. It's like more, um, more fame, more fortune is coming towards you. You're constantly growing. Okay. You're growing at a rapid rate. This is at work. Okay. What is the two of wands? Someone has to um, make a choice, make a decision. Or you have the page of swords here. Maybe what you want to do for work. 
Someone is also watching you grow this air sign. They're watching you build. Okay, you could literally um, schedule to go and see a play. Or you could be taking your children to go see a play. Or this is, this is a field trip that they have to go see a play. Maybe um, the Nutcracker or something like that. Yeah, all of a sudden, yes, the Tower, Six of Swords, Nine of Cups, Knight of Swords. I feel like, Virgo, you're deciding to go after what you want, okay? And this is why things around you are changing because, you know, you're deciding to put yourself first. You decided that a long time ago that you were going to, you're, you were going to put yourself first, okay? Your health first. Of all, um, all areas of your life, you're going to put that first. And I feel like ever since you decided to love yourself more, to um, take care of yourself, your relationships with others has changed as well as their relationship with yourself. People are starting to treat you better. Okay. You've set some kind of boundary. And it's like you've realized this is something that you should have done a long time ago. Okay. All right. So let's see. Virgo. You have Cosmic Sapphire. Act with honor and integrity. Speak your truth. Yes, yeah, speak your truth. Okay. Cosmic diamond. Spread hope and joy. Illuminate the world. Okay. So someone is in their 30s, obviously. All right, and then you have go with the flow, relax and trust, accept what is happening. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing. You're going with the flow. You're trusting exactly what's going on around you. You're not forcing anything. Maybe those around you, they're the ones that's, you know, trying to force things. Yeah, you have growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Yeah, you're growing at a fast pace. This is like quick growth. It's like every day you're noticing that you're growing. Okay. What is growth? Yeah, abundance. You have growth. And then you have abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire, whatever I desire in this physical reality. Okay. Yeah. So as you continue to grow, you become more abundant. Okay. Your money is growing. You're growing. Okay. What else is here for Virgo? You have freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Okay. So this is something that you've already figured out. The power that you hold or the power that you have, that you are like, you're the one that's responsible for yourself. 
You're responsible for your happiness. Yeah, like I was saying, you're responsible for your happiness. How you perceive things. How you perceive the people around you. How you perceive situations and yourself. And that right, that right there alone gives you freedom. Okay. Someone was giving other people or a specific person too much power. That has changed. All right. Yeah, it changed because of discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Okay, yeah, because you have discipline. You disciplined yourself, okay, to go after what you want, okay? All right, Virgo, so... You have communication, so you're going to receive a message from someone. Um, this is like a text message or a phone call or a direct message. Someone wants to talk to you. Okay. What does this person want? What does this person want? You have transition. Okay, so endings, beginnings, transformation. You could be hearing from a Scorpio, okay, or about a Scorpio, okay, or someone wants to have a new beginning with you, okay, and they're going to express that either through a text message or a phone call or a direct message. Okay, Virgo, so that's all for this message.